All right, somebody asked me if I would start doing some of the painting process again uh, of my figures. And I, I used to do the painting process, but then I just started doing the carving process. But let's go back to a little bit. And the figure out of a block of wood that we did, he is uh, right here. He's all done. Okay. I'm going to paint him. Okay. We're going to paint him. So I have my water here. I have my brushes. And I use acrylics. Okay, now usually I've been putting a, uh, painting them more of a black, but I think this time I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go a little bit different on this. I'm going to go first of all with a burnt, a burnt umber on my, uh, shoes and I have my water that I dip it in and I use this what this is this is just like a cutting board is what it is but it's this uh, and I start off with the shoes Now this is before the antiquing solution that I use. And I don't worry about the bottom of the shoes because it's going I'm going to put it on a stand and glue it. So I'm not really that concerned about the bottom of the shoes. going with a burnt umber. Notice it's not real strong. Most of them are not. I try to make my pieces look a little bit older. It's the antiquing solution that, that has a tendency to make the carving look darker. Alright. His shoes are now done. Alright? Okay. Now, I can choose which, whatever I want and, and I'm going to go with a sort of a golden brown for his pants. We'll set this burnt umber aside. Let me see here. I take my bottle and I shake it up. I'd usually leave somebody some in the cap. Might just pour a little bit in there. There we go. And this is a golden brown that I'm going to use on the pants, okay? Coming around there, painted it. Now as you see, I don't, I don't dab it on real strong. I like, now I, I'm, I'm a little bit probably a little bit different carver. I like to uh, have my uh, pieces a much lighter and then use the antiquing solution to darken them.
Notice how I dip my brush in the water, then I dip it into the paint so I don't get a heavy coat. There's a reason for that. That's so that you can see the wood through it. Now, if a person wants to paint them a little bit deeper or more forceful, it's okay. You do not have to do it the way I paint things, okay? That is not a prerequisite for carving. That is not a prerequisite, folks. Is to have a piece looking exactly like mine. You don't have to use these colors. You don't have to use the lighter method as I do either. You can you can paint them more of a stronger color if you want. This is not a have to. This is just the way I do it. My last piece that I had similar to this, I painted the everything black, basically the shoes and everything was of a, of a black nature. And it turned out real well. I'll show you uh, what he looks like. Going to paint underneath here. And the pants are just about done. Okay. All right, see that? I'm going to add a little bit more to a piece on the shoe down here. Alright. Make sure everything came out alright. Okay, and that is pants now. I'm a neutral colored person. I'm going to go with a brown for his for his coat. Okay, let me move this out of the way so you can see it. See how it looks. So, I dip it in the water and I'm going to go with a brown. Just a brown for his coat. You can make the coat whatever you want it to be. You can make it green, you can make it red, you can do whatever you want to. It's just how, how you feel. But I am, you know that most of my pieces are more of a neutral color. I like browns, earth tones, things like that. Because it makes them look old. Makes them look older as we might say. Uh, a lot of people, do you, where do you buy your brushes? Here's some, okay. I, I'll be honest with you folks. I'm not an artist of a painter. I buy my brushes at uh, Hobby Lobby, Walmart, places like that. They're not what you would call extremely expensive brushes. They're nice brushes, but they're not extremely expensive. I usually buy them in a pack and work with them from there. Now, they are not uh, what you would say uh, extremely expensive artist brushes or anything like that. 